Hello everyone, it's that boy Josh here again with another video. Today we're going to be putting the top lock on. The only problem is we won't be finishing off all of the front assembly with the balance blocks or anything like that because when I tried to remove it the other night, well it was earlier on to, to be honest with you, I snapped this off like an idiot and I did the same thing with the other one. Um, I still managed to get them out but I'll have to order some new ones along with the balance, yeah, balance chain. So today we'll be putting the top block on, um, tying it down, torquing them up, and we'll probably leave it for there. Maybe put on the rocker cover if it's still finished in the blaster, because I'm still doing that video at the same time. It's just that it gets a bit smoky in it. I was just looking for the dowels that um, you locate in your top block, here and here and I can't seem to find the other one. I've been an idiot and I've misplaced it somewhere. So I'm just gonna have to make a new one up. So I found this round metal bar and I'm just gonna make the dowel out of it for the top block and then we'll get on with mounting it. I'm probably just gonna time-lapse the uh, manufacture of this. So the one on the left here was the dowel, the original dowel. Here's one I've just made on the lathe, pretty much like for like. Uh, let's go fit them now. So here's a video of the dowel I've just made, fitted. Wouldn't even be able to tell the difference. Beautiful. So just before I go and fit the new head gasket, I'll show you what the old one looked like. Oh man, you can see where all the ports and jackets are all clogged up and what's caused it to blow and here's the fresh one so the comparison of the two you can see where it's blown on the rings around here they're completely knackered um, you need to take care when you're installing this because it's easy to snap so I've just put the head gasket on as you can see here with my new dowel that I've made there and the previous dial that comes with it. I'm just quickly going to test the functions of the pistons and the crankshaft, make sure it all feels smooth before I go ahead and put the top block on because I don't want to put it on and have it feeling all rough. If I can do it on it, fucking hell. Oof, lovely. So we'll put it back to top dead, dead centre. And that felt real smooth, that did. Didn't feel nothing that I'm worried about. So I'm gonna go ahead and fit the top block now. So I'm just gonna fit the top block now. Um, but first, before you wanna do that, you want to turn the pistons a quarter of a turn away. So like they're all in line pretty much, just so it keeps it away from the um, what they're called, valve stems, sorry. Just so to keep them away from the valve stems. Um, when you're fitting the top block again, for a fit, I just wanna make sure the whole surface is clean, which it is, because I've had it covered when I stored it. And then I line them up, pretty much with the center of the pistons. Okay, I'm a little bit out. Just gonna check underneath to find the hole. That's what she said, child. And there we go. So that's placed down now. What you wanna do is 
these are your head bolts. Never reuse uh, the old ones. I've brought brand new ones. I'll put the, I'll show you the package, one minute. I don't get taken out by my microphone cable. These are what I brought. They are our ring head gasket bolt. Um, as you can see there, I don't know if it's got the code on it for you. It's all rubbed off. But you just want to be smearing a little bit of grease on the top and on the face of the heads here. There's three stages of tightening the head bolts as well to a different set of torque. And you have to do them in a certain order as well. But for now, we'll just be taking up stage two as oh, I don't want to fully tighten it because I haven't got the timing chain around it or any of the timing chain bits built up just yet. So let's get some grease out. You don't need too much. Just a little bit there, like I say. Oh. And a little bit on top. Oh, love, you all right? Andy's not here today, no. Sorry about that. So, so some grease here and some grease on the threads there. And you just want to drop them in. And you just want to rinse, rinse and repeat that process eight times. I just want to feel, feel love. Thinking of Robbie Williams, isn't it? Oh, I've just noticed the bit that I've missed spraying up. Didn't do that much of a good job then, did you? When it's fully built up, I might just go over it. Oh, to be fair to you, I might just leave it because I don't think you'll see it from when it's putting the engine. So going in a motion like ch -ch 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 -ch. clockwise, going in a clockwise motion, you just want to be tightening up the bolts, finger tight at the moment. Make sure all your camshafts, which I did in my last video of building the top block. Um, you want to make sure that these are in your top dead center position, which they have a timing mark on the sprocket and on the camshaft as well. And where is it on the bearing shell? Caps, sorry, should I say? There's a mark there which tells you if it's in top dead center as well. I'm going to tighten them down. I'm just going to ratchet them down now before I end up torquing them. In the same order, I'll just finger tighten them now. We'll just do no one's yet, spastic. So that finger tight now, I'm just gonna go quickly get a torque wrench. Have a sip of your coffee. One big old slurpy sit. So I'm very, very annoyed. I just seen that my microphone clip started not working halfway through my video recording. So I've lost about 15 minutes of footage, but it is what it is. Uh, I'm just gonna have to cover the steps that we've missed now, because I'll probably cut it all out, because you don't want to see anything like that. But basically I took up to stage two of torque tightening, um, which is 60 newton meters, and then I think it's 80. And now I'm on stage three, which you need to use an angle finder and torque them up. Um, I haven't got an angle finder, so you're best to go just to put a paint pen mark in, like that, and uh, turn it around 90 degrees when you tighten it up. So we're gonna get on with that right now. Uh, I'm using a big breaker bar to help me. Luckily I went and got it, because that's what's just made me realize that the bloody camera stopped recording and the microphone audio stopped working. 
so you want to probably do it in this order if you didn't get it in the video. I need to watch that so it doesn't roll over my wire. Nearly there now. Nearly there. A little bit more. There you go, that's tilted through 90 degrees now. And 90. So I'll come grab the camera and just show you what I meant. So the match marking is 90 degrees away from where it originally was. So that's the head gasket, not the head, head gasket on, sorry. Top block, if it comes into focus. Top block on. And it's starting to look a little bit more like an engine now. So we're getting it slowly, not looking too bad. You want to put this back into top dead, top dead center now, which I just put off quarter turn, so I'll put it back on. And there was no rough feelings, no nothing. I'm happy with that. Just waiting for my balance pl shaft plugs to come, because I've ordered them now, I'm not putting them back in anymore. Like I said, I'm actually removing them. Um, so yeah, that's what we're waiting for for my time and assembly. Just spraying up the cover now. And we should get that on and finished and then I'll show you what that looks like and that'll be the end of the video. be fair to you guys, I don't think the paint's going to be drying the top block, uh, rocker cover, sorry. So um, I'll have to show you in another video. Thanks for watching, like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next video.